Hello, everybody. This is Jeff Berlin. I want to uh, play uh, a line written in treble clef, actually, uh, something that I extracted out of a book written by Nicholas Slonimsky. Now, some of you will know his name, and others may not. He wrote a book uh, considered one of the greatest documents of academic variety based on standard tonality that there is in music. He came up with ways to approach in a kind of a jazz sense, but also in an approach note sense, music that fairly well never existed in academic music until he wrote it out. So I'm reading this now to make sure I get it right. It's Nicholas Slonimsky's book called Thesaurus of Scales and Melodic Patterns. And what it is, and what would be interesting to bass players who are readers, is that the exercises out of this book gives purpose for you to play the, the instrument. It gives reason to use technique. It gives reason also to cross the strings. String crossing exercises are popular today. Um, I view them in general as having meaning if there is a harmonic center in the the uh, string crossing exercise. If there is uh, our string crossing exercises not based only in the altering of strings but has a musical reason, this will be the benefit to you. So I'm going to play this Slonimsky line and show you uh, one, how uh, uh, my technique must be used in order to represent this line, and two, how string crossing elements are involved in it as well. Uh, based on uh, real harmonic reasons. Here I go. That little line. Now you'll notice that I have to alter uh, strings and I have to alter uh, uh, fretting uh, fingers. So by doing this, I'm employing everything that technique requires to be developed. And there's a lot of precedence in my statement in that a lot of musicians that you know, uh, I'll begin with Alan Holdsworth, my old friend, the late great Alan, uh, practiced out of Slonimsky. Now, a lot of the wide angle and the wide string crossing, based in harmony, might I add, uh, approach of Allen, some of, of this was inspired uh, by the Slonimsky, Nicholas Slonimsky music that he practiced. John Coltrane uh, practically invented the harmonic shifting uh, 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 through music and the intervallic use that he used was uh, beyond bebop, beyond Sonny Stitt uh, and uh, Charlie Parker. And in part, you will find a lot of what he did in the Slonimsky book. So I recommend to everybody to practice a line out of Slonimsky and then try it in 12 keys, which I hadn't done actually with this. I had to slow down. Now I'm in B flat. So you take one line and use it in 12 ways. And I have to add a very positive thing here for everyone to ponder. Practicing music is not meant to be applied to live playing. One might do it a little bit, one might, uh, you know, attempt something, but the reason we practice is not to perform what we practice, for the most part. What we practice is to get us to learn music and to learn how to play the bass, because the more that we get into the reading, as the Slonimsky stuff, the easier it will be for everybody to listen to records, or CDs, I should say, and extract music by ear and become better bass players. So you want to leave the difficulty of your musical lives in the, in the practice room. So when you go out and play, I think you may agree that most of bass parts that are fairly common today are fairly simple. So if you're having some difficulty playing with 
I would call it performance-esque uh, 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 technique uh, as performers, then you ought to be practicing more for its own sake. Not that I'm going to practice Leninsky and use it tonight on my gig. It's not meant for that. It's to make you better bass players, better uh, technical and understanding musicians. That's how I feel that I can play any gig anywhere, anytime, because I left the difficulty that may ensue in a proper gig, I left it in the classroom, in my practice room years ago, because I practiced hard and did it with love. I love to practice. I just adore it. I hope I can share this, this contagious love for musical improvement and invite you to do uh, a Slonimsky line like Alan Holdsworth did out of the Slonimsky book, John Coltrane. I should mention Pat Martino, and I should also mention uh, uh, John Schofield. And there's way more uh, uh, musicians who got into Slonimsky so that it could help them to become better players by reading and repeating and practicing out of time. You can't play a line in time. Whoops. Wait. Oh man, I just can't do it in time. So what is this? Oh, oh, it's a, it's a D and an A flat. If you can do this and slow down, the musical world is your erster, as they used to say in Brooklyn in 1920. Okay, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for new content weekly.